Okay. Take the USB stick that we made, plug that in, uh, restart this motherboard. It is F11. Select the boot menu. Okay, so I am going to boot UEFI off the USB stick. So we have booted into the USB and now the automated install is just going to install everything on the first drive, which is the hard drive, so that's not what we want. So we're going to go to the expert install. And English, I live in Canada, American English keyboard, tech and mount CD-ROM. So this is just loading the USB stick. First thing we want to do, go to the hard drive. And we want to get rid of all of that, and get rid of all of this. So now we want to have everything installed on the SSD itself. So we're going to go to this free space here, and we're just going to automatically partition the free space. That's going to pick all of the directories and everything that we need for SteamOS. And then the home directory, we're actually going to delete this one. So now we've deleted that one. We go to the, the hard drive here at the top. We're going to go to the free space on that one. And we're going to create a new partition, the full capacity and it's already picked it as the home directory so everything's already ready to go so we're done setting up this partition so now we have root boot recovery swap everything is on the ssd and then the home directory is on the hard drive itself and that's where steam is going to be saving all of the games and applications and everything so now that's done and we can just finish and now one thing that i was looking into here is the root directory it only needs 10 gigabytes to work so we actually have another 468.9 gigabytes that we can use for something else down the road. So if for whatever reason we ended up needing an additional amount of uh, space to install something, some more applications, um, we can uh, format this as another drive, install applications on there, and then allocate the applications in Steam by adding them to the library. So we, we really don't need more than what is this, uh, 30 gigs. A little bit more, so a 40 gigabyte SSD would be more than enough to suffice for the install on this if you plan on having a hard drive for your games. Uh, so the 500 gigabyte SSD is extremely overkill, but that's what I have. So uh, finish partition and write changes to disk. Yes. Uh, now sometimes here it might fail and we'll have to reboot just to go back into it, but sometimes it does work and it did work. Okay, so it's installing the base system. So now we just wait. So now from here, we're just going to leave the default settings. Just going to click OK, continue, back to waiting. And it crashed. restart let's try again okay so now we're at the part that we were supposed to be at so instead of it crashing we're supposed to get here and then we can go up and go to reboot two one zero now it's working as it should okay we are in and now we can plug in an xbox controller or any controller that you want push the center button push the a button and push the left thumb stick down now we're just going through the Steam OS setup as normal. You're up to date and ready to go. Your Steam Machine setup is now complete. Run Steam now. Done. Now we can go to settings and disk management. And then it shows here that we have the entire capacity of the hard drive. Now we're just going to go back to library. And we want to go to all games and filter to only Steam OS games. These are the ones that are going to work on here. Now the lengthy process of installing every single one of these.
so pretty much at this point here I realized that uh, I had to set up the Xbox controller because it wasn't working, I only had the keyboard options available. And when I was messing around with the settings here I ended up breaking it completely. So this is where I'm going to end the video and then we're actually going to get into a different video of actually trying to fix all of these things. You'll also notice that in the game that I was playing earlier there's no sound and there's no sound when you first boot. We're gonna get into the technical specifications of how to actually make this work in the next one. At least we got it installed despite the few errors that we ended up having throughout there. So uh, like subscribe or don't, I don't know, it doesn't matter.